A controversial Halloween display is the talk of a small southern Missouri town. Well, the homeowner in Sykeson admits it's racially motivated, but says it's a matter of free speech. Holly Brantley shows us what's catching everybody's eye. Yeah, there's been a bunch of people stopped by just since I put them up this year and want to shake my hand and stuff, saying that they're proud to see there's a little uh, white pride still left in this country. Rick Hoskins may call this scene a display of white pride. Others call it racist. A ghostly member of the KKK and a man lynched, hanging from this tree. Hoskins says he hasn't had anyone complain to him personally. Do you put these decorations up every year? Yes, yes ma'am. No. They'll be up every year. About half an hour after our interview, the Scott County Sheriff, deputies, and investigators showed up after they got some phone calls from residents. While Hoskins says the display falls under freedom of speech, investigators say it could be considered a form of disturbance and lead to bigger issues and trouble. Sheriff Rick Walter tells me he asked Hoskins to take the so-called decorations down, and he agreed to do so. He just probably has hatred for something in him, and he's going to stir up some trouble. That's the response we got from most people who saw the figures. Most of Hoskins' immediate neighbors didn't want to go on camera, but tell us they are used to seeing the Confederate flag flying. Find the scene shameful, but take it with a grain of salt because they say they're used to it. Well, that was Holly Brantley reporting. The Sheriff's Department says Hoskins plans to contact his lawyer to see if the display is protected by freedom of speech laws.